Akaba Alekisora Road connects tourists to two national parks, Buindi and Mugahinga, four lakes, natural forests, and many historical and cultural sites in the southwestern region of Uganda. The hospitality industry has been vibrant up until last Thursday when a heavy downpour brought transport along the Kabale Kisoro and Hamura Kanungu roads to a standstill. The Kabale Kisoro road caved in at Bwara village in Hamura town council, Rwanda district, while the Hamura Kanungu road caved in and was completely cut off by floods at the Hamura floating bridge. Construction work has started on the collapsed Kabale Kisoro road at Bwara village in Hamura town council, Rwanda district. Joseph Kwitonda is a businessman dealing in charcoal who says this has affected tourism there. We are being disturbed by the closing of the road. The tourist sites are on the other side and they can't access them. Even the food comes from the other side and it's inaccessible. The Rwanda District Chief Administrative Officer Alex Quizera says there's a looming fear that tourists may cancel bookings that they had already made. And Rwanda being one of the uh, countries, tourist destinations. The, the road from uh, Kabare, uh, Rwanda to, to, to Rohija, where most of uh, uh, the tourists uh, flock in for the mountain gorillas might be soon impossible. And, uh, unless something is really done. Tourists are likely to cancel their bookings. The district is grappling with inadequate funds which cannot facilitate the rehabilitation of all the damaged roads. We have about 106 million and about, uh, about 40 million for the town council. It is too, too little to work on some of these damages. While some tourists cannot access the sites, there are others who cannot leave because the roads are impassable. The Rwanda district chairperson is appealing to government to disperse 200 million shillings to rehabilitate the impassable roads. Actually, I've, uh, I've been told that in some places the tourists are still stuck, like in Rohingya, all these roads have been washed away. So I appeal to government that if you can give emergency funding, an approximate of 200 million will give us a chance to be able to open these roads again and prepare our roads, then our tourists and our people can have access to their markets and their main roads to do their businesses as usual. Traffic has been diverted to the alternative route of 88 kilometers via the Gatuna Rubaya Muko and the 20 kilometer Kabale Lake Punyonyi Kachwekano Rubona Hisesero roads. The Uganda National Roads Authority says government has earmarked close to 3 billion shillings for repair works and it will take approximately two weeks to repair the damaged section of the Kabale Kisoro road.